Hi guys, I got my Roby 8 inch P5452 chainsaw. I got this as a gift, and I know it's meant to do limbing and smaller pruning type jobs, but I was helping dad out in the rain yesterday doing a tree job, which a video is coming out on that. And I got all muddy, that's why it's all dirty here. But what I want to do is a service. I was running it and it started to stall. The chain is a little tight and it didn't have any power to cut through the limb. So what I want to do is I want to sharpen it. I got the sharpener here and I want to file the chain, clean this up and get it, get it looking better. Get it back in service here. Alright, so what I did is I marked... A little dot so I know where I'm starting on my chain here that way I don't over sharpen keep going around waste time here's a sharpener my dad has and this has got your marks for 25 degree this is a 3 16 filer and if you line it up have the correct angle it'll cut the best like this and I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna sharpen it Found an easier way to hold it here with the clamp. And then we can go through and we can sharpen. So I won't bore you guys with this. I'll put it on time lapse. And we're going to go through and go all the way around the chain and sharpen her up. And I'm going to do the same number of files on each tooth, same pressure, and I'm going to count them so that way it wears down evenly and I can have it cut evenly and not crooked. Now when I get this side done, I'm going to flip the saw around and I'm going to come back and do the other side. Alright, now I'm going to skip every other tooth, and then I'm going to turn it around. So, I'll get the, see the chain is pretty tight, but I'll roll it forward, and I'll file the rest of these. I got the chain all sharpened. Now what I'm gonna do, we got the mouthy tiger out here. I'm gonna take this all apart and clean it. It's pretty nasty, so, yep. All right, I tried simple green, but now I'm using Dawn and water, and the Dawn's cutting right through the grease. It's pretty sticky, muddy, so it's working, and I'm using an old toothbrush. And I'm just gonna clean this up, get it nice and lime green again, right? Alright, I got this decently clean here, not the greatest, but what I want to show you is I'd like to file the rakers down if you put a flat edge across here, not, uh, not even a sixteenth of the tooth is above it, so if I file it down, there'll be more tooth sticking up, and it'll be sharper, nice cut. See what I'm talking about guys, it's nearly tooth to tooth, nearly no room, so I want to file this down. So that there's about that much gap of the two sticking up, and this will make it cut a lot better. Got a flat file, and I'm gonna apply pressure and. file that down, and then we'll check it. And it's already better than it was. Well, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go around the entire chain like that and file the rakers down. Now that the pruning saw's rakers are filed down, the teeth are nice and sharp, I'm going to go test it out here. Let's see. And you can see it's a nice cut. Definitely a lot sharper. Went through that pretty nice. So now we're ready 
to cut up some limbs. We got future jobs this will be handy for. Now I have my other Ryobi saw, which is a little bigger. That's a 16 inch gas. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be uh, maintenancing that as well. So stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Here is my bigger of the two I have. This is a gas-powered Ryobi 16-inch RY3716. This has the homeowner's chain on it. It has two rakers, and as you can see, it skips. The teeth are farther apart, so I might get a new chain for it. But this is a fairly new machine. I just want to do a little maintenance on it. I want to take off this end safety tip because that's always in the way, and it's kind of dumb. Well, it's not really dumb, but it's a safety feature that I don't really like. So what I'm going to do is take this off, sharpen the chain, file down the rakers, and clean this up a little bit. It's fairly new. And then I'll put some uh, oil and gas in it, fire it up, and see how it works. And if you remember from a previous video, we're taking down some trees and I'm helping Dad. So I want to use my own equipment. And we got limbs and fairly decent sized uh, pine trees that were taken so this would be helpful I'm gonna take this off this is an 8 millimeter and this is just the safety tip as I mentioned before and we'll take this off get this out of the way so this is fairly new but I still want to take this off and clean all the junk and gunk out of here all the wood chips and stuff clean that up and then I'm gonna sharpen the chain so we got our chainsaw tool here we'll loosen these bolts loosen these nuts and take this case off and reveal the bar and I'll get this cleaned up I think there's more. Probably have to take. Let's see if I can loosen this. Will that come off? As you can see, I got a bunch of leaves trapped in it. So here's everything all together here. As you can see it's pretty nasty. We got some wood chips. So I'll just clean that up. I'm cheating. I'm gonna do a whole thing right in here. Just won't try not to get any in the engine. Well, it shouldn't hurt it, but uh, that's the fast way to do it, right? All right. Got it back on. Back together. I'm gonna tighten it up. I got the chain tightened how I like it. I'm gonna tighten this up and then I'm gonna file the breakers down, sharpen the teeth, and then I'll go test it out. Edge on it to see the rakers, and they're about even with the teeth. So I'm gonna file them down. I'm gonna get my white sharpie, mark my first one so I know where I will end. And we'll start filing away, Jose. Alright, last raker. Now I'm going to file the teeth. These are pretty dull. We'll sharpen them. I got this. 30 degrees. And I might clamp this down, but we'll file this. An even amount all the way around and we'll get this nice and sharp here guys as you can see it's pouring out so we're in the carport got some gas in it let's fire it up
here, but uh, you're probably gonna want a one of the better test. shades, don't you? Yeah, it's not a great test, but uh, it's something to show you guys. Um, I sharpened it. Let's go test it out on the job site now. You did tell them that it's I one of those file the safety thing. chains that are. It's definitely not as good as. We might you put know, a dad's chainsaw, but uh, I might put a new chain on it, so stay yeah, tuned. It's got plenty of power. It's just uh, the, got one of them homeowner chains on it. Yep. So, you all set? Yep. See you on the job site. All right, the rain's let up a little bit. I really want to try a real piece of wood here. Pretty nice cut. That sharpening sure did help. Nice sharp chain now. Ready for work, man. Let's do it. See you on the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.